All right. In this problem now, we're going to solve for the final temperature of a substance. Okay. Um, so uh, within the formula, we're going to be solving for the final temperature piece of the change in temperature of that delta T. So as always, we need to write out what we know. So Q in this case is 1100 joules. And our mass is going to be 100 grams. And C for aluminum, since the problem didn't give it to us, is 0.89 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And then our delta T is going to be the final temperature, Tf, minus the initial temperature, which was given to us as 20 degrees Celsius. Now, all we need to do, guys, is just plug in what we know, okay? Um, so our first step is going to be to plug in 1,100 joules for Q and set it equal to a mass of 100 grams times our C of 0.89 joules per gram degrees Celsius. And then within the next parentheses, temperature final, which is what we're calculating, minus 20 degrees Celsius. So on the right side of the equation, we need to combine what we can. And in this case, we can combine 100 and 0.89. And that's a very easy calculation. All you need to do is move the decimal to the right twice on 0.89. So it's going to be 89. Then notice we have grams and grams. So joules per degree Celsius times temperature final minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now note, within the parentheses over here, we cannot touch this with the 89. We can't multiply the 89 by the 20. You could foil it out and ultimately derive at the right answer, but that seems like an excessive amount of work. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide 89 joules per degree Celsius into 1100. So, 1100 divided by 89, uh, once you put that in your calculator, you should get 12.4 degrees Celsius is equal to temperature final minus 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, now, unlike in the initial, uh, when we were calculating for the initial temperature, this time it's much easier. All you need to do is do the inverse of this subtraction of 20 degrees Celsius. So we need to add 20 degrees Celsius to both sides. So we're going to add 20 over here. And once you add it, you will get 32.4 degrees Celsius is equal to temperature final. So in this problem, it was a much easier way to derive the final temperature than it was the initial, okay? You didn't need to um, change the negative sign uh, that we had on the initial temperature because we were solving for final temperature this time, okay? Um, anyways, I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have questions.